Hello. So today we're doing orders of operations. I should say orders of operations, right? And it is the PEMDAS. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally would be your acronym to remember that. And P-E-M-D-A-S would be how you would kind of remember those letters, right? Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. I'm not writing all those words on there. You can roll this back and you can repeat it and you can write them in your notes. However, I did give you an example. And I have a few more to follow, so. Our example, 2 times 4 minus 3 divided by 3. Well, multiplication and division comes before subtraction, and we have division, so we got to do both of these first and then subtract. So 2 times 4 is 8, minus, bring that sign down, and 3 divided by 3 is 1, and 8 minus 1 is 7. It's as simple as that. Don't make it complicated, right? Try to follow those rules though. You got to follow an order and I'll show you why. But before we do that we're going to talk a little bit about exponents because it was parentheses and let me go back parentheses brackets braces right they can be in any of those problems that you're going to get. But the exponent which is the second part the exponent means this is the exponent right and the exponent tells you how many times to multiply the base. This is your base. This is your exponent. And it tells you how many times to multiply it. So it would be 3 times 3, which would be 9. And then 9 to the third power. And I also put in quotes how you say it. You don't say 3 to the 2. Okay, don't do that. It's 3 to the second power or 3 squared. You'll hear me say 3 squared a lot, but 3 to the second power is good, right? 9 to the third power, 9 to the third power means you're going to multiply that 3 times. 9 times 9 is 81, and 81 times 9 is 729. And I did that on my head real quick. So they're your answers. However, on the calculator, on our calculator, there's an x squared. It's a third button on the first row. I think I've talked about this in other videos, but I don't know if you've come across them yet. And 3x squared would give you 9. And then on the calculator with the 9, shift, and then there's a little play button that's in the third row. Uh, it's the second button in from the right. And then you hit the equal, and that should give you 729. And that calculator that we use is the Casio FX 260. I would suggest Walmart to buy it the cheapest, and then Target or Staples next, okay? All right, so the next thing up. Uh, zero exponent, anything to the zero exponent is going to be a 1. And anything to the first power is going to be itself. Anything to the zero power is going to be equal 1. And anything to the first power is going to be itself, so it would just be 7. Quickly on that, because when we get to the polynomials and the exponent rules, we'll go over these again, but more explanation. But right now, this is the quickest way to know that, okay? So... Our next slide up, we got to write PEMDAS on our paper, and that means if division comes before multiplication, we can do division before multiplication, or if multiplication comes before division, we can go left to right to either one of them. Same thing as addition and subtraction. Hopefully I wrote some up that we can figure that out. But right now we have 4 squared divided by 2 multiplied by 4, and division here comes before multiplication, and that's okay to do because it can be left to right, okay? But parentheses, no parentheses. Exponents, yep, first one up, 4 squared. 4 times 4 tells you to multiply that twice. 4 times 4 would be 16. And then go left to right. 16 divided by 2 is 8. 8 times 4 is 32. 
And that's how you would do that problem. The next one up is 8 minus 6 squared plus 2 to the third power times 3. And you go, oh my goodness, that makes my head hurt. Well, let's take it in little baby steps, right? Chunk it, right? 8 minus 6 is 2. And that's 2 squared because you can't forget about that. Plus 2 to the third power. Well, 2 to the third power, you have to do exponents before multiplying. So 2 to the third power is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. And 8 times 3, right? Now you have 2 squared, which is 4, plus, now don't do 4 plus 8 times 3. No, 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 no. You're going to do 8 times 3 is 24, and 24 plus 4 is going to be 28. And that is how you would do that, okay? Now, if you need to go back and look at this, well, guess what? You have that opportunity to um, rewind and then do it slowly, okay? But in the meantime, we have one more problem, and then we're going to be done with the orders of operations for regular numbers and operations stuff, okay? You're going to see this again when we get into algebra, and you have the variables and the exponents and all that good googly gook that's in there, okay? So here, I put this problem up because this has brackets and parentheses, okay? So 4, uh, four to the third power plus, and then brackets, 3 squared minus 10 divided by 2, and then minus 7 times 3. A lot of little things in the, happen in there. Pay attention to detail. It's all in the details. And understanding those, P, E, M, D, A, S. So first, parentheses. I have brackets and parentheses. So I'm going to do what's in here first. That's what these brackets mean. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 3 squared is 9. And then bring it all down. Okay. Then 9 minus 5 is 4, plus 4 to the third power, right? And then minus 7 times 3. Well, we have to do the exponent. So 4 times 4 is 16, and 16 times 4 is 64, plus 4, and then minus 7 times 3 would be 21. Now we can do left to right. 64 plus 4 is 68, minus 21, and then 7 and 47, and there you have it. And that's your final answer. And that will conclude our orders of operation lesson. So thank you. Pay attention to details, all right? See you soon. Thanks.